This human sneeze, Ron DeSantis, has spent the last two years criticizing President Biden for everything from gas prices to immigrants. And now, now, hat in hand, tail between his legs, asks for federal aid from the president. And look, we need to do this. People are suffering. We need to help them, right? Why this is important is that this goon and goons like him voted against aid for Hurricane Sandy. So these heartless fucking monsters crow about small government and federal aid for everyone else. But when it comes to them and their state, suddenly they're all for socialism, turns out. Hi, it's Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. You know... The hypocrisy would be comical if it weren't so consistent. It might be the only consistent thing about the Republican Party. There is nothing they can't flip on at the, at the turn of a dime. So now DeSantis, the I won't vote for hurricane aid for Sandy and we don't believe in hurricane aid for Katrina and we don't believe in hurricane aid for anything, suddenly believes in government aid. Why? Because it happened to a red state. That's right. When they're looking for aid, you can be sure that that natural disaster headed for a red state. Don't hear anything about this hurricane came because Jesus hates gays. What happened to that? Wasn't that why there were hurricanes? Because Jesus doesn't like gays? Well, Florida doesn't like gays. So why is it getting hit? Hmm. Gonna have to ask Jesus for that one. But until we get to Jesus, we'll take some of that federal money. Thank you. You would think as often as Florida gets hit with hurricanes that their politicians would vote for aid and relief for everybody. Or maybe just keep your mouth shut. You know, like when you're doing dirt and something comes up close to what you're doing, you don't say anything. Like if people are talking about gas mileage and you drive a Hummer, you just kind of keep your mouth shut in that situation. But no, they speak out no aid, the government's giving away too much money, smaller federal government, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Oh, we just got hit by Hurricane Ian. Please help, please help. We would have money, but we're spending $12 million to traffic immigrants out of the state. And by the way, those immigrants that made it to Martha's Vineyard, oddly enough, didn't get hit by the hurricane. They probably won't need hurricane relief, DeSantis, so maybe you saved them a little money. It is ridiculous, it is hypocritical, and most of all, it's heartless. Hurricane Sandy was devastating to people. People lost their homes, people lost lives. Hurricane Katrina was devastating to the country, and the response was an embarrassment to the United States, and they were fine with it. But let them get hit by Ian? Ooh, suddenly we got a problem. Representative of Florida and child trafficker Matt Gates. he's the only one so focused has his eye on the ball to vote against hurricane relief for his own state that he represents to deny Joe Biden a win in 2022. Can you imagine being such a swamp person you would do something like that? That's right. The MAGAs are suddenly supporting Joe Biden. Won't be hearing any let's go Brandon when they're asking for money from the federal government, will we? That's right. They need a federal government to make their house great again because their house got destroyed in a hurricane. Oh, by the way, Donald Trump won't be lending you any money. He's locked up down in mer -Lago using the hurricane to dodge testifying in many of his numerous trials. So don't look for any help there. This is all about the hypocrisy. Now listen, it is tragic. It is tragic what has happened to people in Florida, people who have lost their homes, even worse, people who have lost lives, people who have lost loved ones. It's very real, it's very real. But don't pretend that the leaders you voted for, Florida, are greedy and heartless people. As the man said, Getz even voted against relief for Florida. Why? Because he's a Republican. And if there's one thing Republicans know how to do, it's vote no on everything. And uh, can I give a shout out to the title of Human Sneeze? <laughs> Boy, this TikToker nailed it. I love people's creativity. The human sneeze, Ron DeSantis. So here it is, DeSantis. You're a hypocrite. You've proven once again there is no low you will not sink to. To ask the federal government for money while you're wasting the state's money on your immigrant stunts, while you're, you're burning books and trying to destroy education and against everything the federal government stands for, which is 
helping people, suddenly you're a big supporter of helping people. No, you're just a hypocrite. And that goes for you too, Rubio, and that goes for Getz, and, I, and unfortunately, it goes for the Republican Party. They will flip on anything. Suddenly, they need help. One of their states needs help. The reddest of red states. Yeah, Texas, Florida is now the reddest of red states. Gets hit by a hurricane, and you're okay with the federal government, even deficit spending, just to bail you out. Haven't heard much about gas prices, which is a whole nother thing. Why are gas prices going up? It's ridiculous, because... They they said that the gas is going up because there might be a refinery hit by a hurricane. That's a story for another video. This video is about DeSantis, the human sneeze, which is what I will refer to him as from now on, being a hypocrite and being greedy.